I'm seeing some pretty good gold come out of this hole. How deep can I go? Stay tuned and you will know. We are now down inside the hole and I'm working on this gravel layer. And here's the next piece of gold getting bigger. I can almost pick that one up. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I think I got a gold nugget at Catch Creek. Right there. Working the black sand. And right there we have some gold. Look at this rock. Wow, all of that is fluorescent. Oh my gosh, it's the whole outline of the world. Check that one out. I'm gonna give this away. Welcome back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock hounders. It's always good to see you all back at the channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe. I am back in the beautiful state of Colorado. I am here at Catch Creek. It's near Granite, Colorado. This is a historical mining area that is now open to the public. And we also have good news. Since I've started, we never could have wagons out here. But now BLM is allowing wagons out here at Catch Creek. That makes it so much easier on us, getting the material hauled to the sluice box, so much work, so that really helps out a lot. Thank you BLM management for that. Now if they could just allow small high bankers with the small battery pumps, nothing huge that's gonna suck all the water out of the creek that work off solar panels and a small battery and a small pump. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure and click that thumbs up button. But with that being said, let's get on down to Catch Creek and get some gold. Down in the hole. I just found a nice layer of gravel. Look at that. Above some clay. That's all clay. Alright. See right there the gravel. All above it. The gravel. So I'm going to work on this whole area, get it ran through the classifier. I will be making pay dirt bags with this material, real gold from Catch Creek, Colorado. Digging away two buckets out from this layer that I was working on, and all that collapsed. A lot of material I don't want. I'm gonna go pan that out. And another bucket right there, quarter of a bucket. See what kind of gold we even got out of that layer. May not even be worth messing with. It may be worth digging all that out and keep working at it well i found some water flowing it's a pretty good year for runoff i did one pan out of the buckets we still got a quarter of a bucket to go down there and get i'm like at least 200 yards from that hole and we got a piece of gold Yep, right there. Nice little piece of flower gold. And there is another little piece right over there. And there's actually some more down in here. I panned it pretty quick. All right. We got the other bucket here. 
going to pour it into another bucket to free it up. And all the cons that I get, I will be giving those to my element and gemstone collectors on Patreon. It will be added to their monthly giveaway packages. And if this video can reach 2,000 likes, I will give a bag of my DMI Gold Dirt from Catch Creek to one lucky YouTube subscriber that leaves a comment. It'll be loaded with gold. Don't want to miss out. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. And here's the next piece of gold. Getting bigger. Still got to work some of the black sand out of this one. And there could be more. That's definitely gold. And it's an, almost a picker. I can almost pick that one up. So we are definitely in the right stuff. I'm going to set my stream sluice up. That way we can run more material faster and get more gold. I'm just sample panning right now. And yeah, now that I see this, I think I'll, I'm going to dig all that material that collapsed on me and get back into this gravel. Nice. Wow, it has a shape of a heart. Let's check it out under the digital microscope. Sort of looks like a heart. If I spin it a little bit, it looks like a dog. Very cool. Now I'm going to take my sniffer bottle and get that nugget on out of there. Okay, there it is. Alright, we got it. Always like to put my finger on it and shake it. Make sure all the gold stays in there and gets off the tube. Okay, I'm now on Catch Creek. Got the gold hog set up. Working on it. Seems to be going pretty good. I went ahead and dumped in the cons where I found that neat heart shaped piece of gold almost a picker so I dumped all those cons in here just to kind of help me get my slew set up catching white sand it looks like I even see some gold already starting to show up so I'll run all this material through the sluice versus painting it out like I was that would take me forever and here's the other bucket I'm gonna run this material through the sluice that'll then let me know if I want to uh, dig all that out in the hole and keep working that gravel I may move around I may go dig somewhere else try to find a better spot you never know out here the gold could be anywhere out here at Catch Creek all right that's it all the material has been ran through the sluice. Do we have any gold? I don't know. Hard to tell. We gotta take the mat out and then pan this out. Working on getting the mat cleaned out, see what kind of gold that we got. Nothing really visible. That doesn't mean I don't have any gold. Kind of see a small speck. All right, let's see what we got. And here's what I got out of the first run with the sluice. Time to throw this in a pan. Let's see what we got. Oh, over here at the pond, lots of black sand. Oh, nope, mica. All right, let's see if we got any gold. So just kind of working the black sand down. And right there is a small piece of gold. And right there is another piece of gold. So there is gold in here. I was just working the sand down. And those two pieces just popped right out. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Working the black sand. And right there we have some gold, that nice flake, I can pick it up, 
to me it's not a picker I can pick it up but it's really flat it's just a nice flake and then you can see there's several little pieces one two three four five and that's on the top tons of pieces of gold right there and like I say I'm right now I'm just working the black sand back and forth letting it fall down and revealing the gold if you need to get any gold mining equipment your gold pan your stream sluice snuffer bottle i'll have links in the description below we're going to see some gold i think i'll go back and get back into that gravel vein see if i can get some more of this not bad for bucket bucket and a quarter I'm down stream a little ways at another miner's sluice box. He's got some pretty good gold. You might be able to see that. There's gold on the mats for sure. All kinds of ways to set up your stream sluice. Once again, we have a new wagon, Gorilla Carts. I want to thank all my Patreons, YouTube subscribers. Since the views were up so much last month, I got me a new wagon. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Whew. Been working at getting all that cave in off of the layer that I'm working on. And I started working into this stuff right here, and that quartz popped out. Wasn't seeing much gravel. There's that in there, so I may just keep working on this little sandy spot. Get a couple buckets classified through the half inch, take it down to the sluice, and we will see if there's any gold in it. I was up in here. I still have to get some more out, but if I keep digging, all that's going to cave in. And I, don't know, I don't want that to cave in. So for now, I'm just going to tackle this spot that's below all of this loose overburden. This is more virgin soil down here. One of the buckets done about to start this one but i might go ahead and clean out the mat i'm seeing something right there that is super shiny that might be a gold nugget wouldn't that be cool i actually find a little nugget out here getting to be about three o'clock we run till dark. We can even go at night, day and night, getting that gold. If that's a gold nugget, I'm gonna work all night long. Whew. 
Please be a gold nugget. All right, both buckets are worked. There's a possibly gold nugget. Got the black sand. Yeah, it's getting pretty loaded. Go ahead and pull this out. I'll run all this material through the blue bowl and look at all the gold at the end of the video. So do not change the channel. All right, sluice is out of the water for the day. Four buckets ran. There's a nice little piece of gold right there. I'm seeing little pieces of gold all through here. Let's pan it out, see what we're gonna get. Matt's looking pretty good. Lots of black sand. take a look at the hole I'm working on and here's my hole someone started this hole and you can see where I where I have continued on of course that darker area that's my part and right here you can see where it's drier that's the existing hole there's once a tree right here you can see the root right now I'm getting material out of this gravel layer underneath these tree roots and I'm seeing gold come out of this layer I'm gonna work a few buckets out of here see if we can't get some more gold out of the hole There's one bucket, classified material, number four, wire mesh. All right, we got the wagon loaded, three buckets. Time to take it to the sluice and get it ran, get some gold. 200 yards that way to get to water. downhill whoa not afraid to lose my bucket considering it flew out of the back of my truck this morning on my way to town so I was coming back from town from Leadville and I see a white bucket in the middle of the highway and I pass it and I say, hey, that looks like my bucket. And instantly I knew it was my bucket of concentrate. So there's gold on the highway between Granite, Colorado and Leadville, Colorado. Probably two or three grams. All right, we are almost here. Almost to the water just right over the tree line that's catch creek all right we go this way now i got to go over the cobble pile and yes that is my trash and i will pick it up and haul it out when i'm done today All right, I need to go get my scooper, my empty buckets, 
get the wagon unloaded, get the buckets carried over the cobble pile. I'll show you that. And here we go. Thanks to some miners, they left their tarp. So I've got shade for a little bit. The only thing, the mosquitoes are really bad down here by the water. So you definitely want to have your neem oil. No, this video isn't sponsored by neem oil or this company. Neem oil is really good for the skin. It also helps keep the ticks off of you and mosquitoes can't stand it. So it's time to lather up with some neem oil, get it by the water and get that stream sluice going and keep everything locked up. You shouldn't have to lock anything up because if you come up to something and it's not yours, you shouldn't touch it at all doesn't matter if it's just that plastic spoon or a bucket you really just should leave it alone because it's not yours and we wouldn't have to be locking our stuff up all right water's looking good I've been putting my stream sluice right in there and get that set up get those buckets work get some gold One bucket down. Next one ready to go. Wagon's empty. Three buckets. I'm gonna go ahead and get that third bucket. Ran through the sluice. Do a clean out. Go get three more buckets. And I am seeing some gold. Let's take a look at it. Some up in there. But right there, look at that piece. That might be a picker. So definitely got room for one more bucket or even a couple more buckets. So I'm going to do three. Do a clean out. working on the clean out that was not a nugget just a rock I am seeing gold here and a piece right there looks like we will see gold in the pan There's the cons, looking good. I can see gold in there. Sluice set up, looking pretty good. I did a test run of some material just right off the bank. Got the big rocks out and looks to be going pretty good. Okay, it's about 11 o'clock. I got three buckets ran through the sluice definitely time for a safety meeting get some lunch and then get back in the hole get some more material keep running that sluice later tonight i'm going to get my uv light and check these cobble piles and see if they're going to fluorescent it'd be pretty cool to see some of these rocks 
fluoresce with my UV light. There's a few rocks to test. I have almost washed the fifth bucket. The gravel's starting to get better the deeper I get my hole. Check out the gold. There's a nice piece of something. Something shining. There's a few pieces over there. So I'm seeing gold. All right, I'm on bucket number six. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I think I got a gold nugget at Catch Creek. Let's check it out. Right there. All right, we're due for storms later. I need to get this sluice out of the water, get the cleanup. I'm gonna, I gotta pray this is gonna be a gold nugget. Maybe it wasn't a gold nugget. All the garnets that I come across, I'm gonna add those to the Patreon's gold pay dirt bags. If you're not a Patreon, you like to help support my channel, be sure and sign up today. Okay, I'm back at the hole, day three. Getting down there. We'll keep this layer separate. I'm gonna fill up a bucket of this material down here and see if we can get more gold in this upper layer. Always like to keep a bucket down in my hole that helps claim it. Cause I'm ready to go get this material ran through the sluice. And right here you can see the different colors in the layers. This is what I hit. There could be gold in it. There may not be much. I am seeing gravel. Lots of quartz. Back at the sluice. Here's the two buckets with the layer that we've been working on. And here's the bucket with the new layer that popped up. We'll wash it. With these, I can't clean those and then take them out I'm gonna have to do them all we'll just uh, do those let it run through real good we can see what kind of gold we got and then we'll run that one through it and we'll be able to see the gold that comes out of that bucket getting the sluice set up right now looks like it's leaning to this side a little bit so I still need to do some adjustments on the sluice and then I'll be ready to get some gold a little under half a bucket to go and I am already seeing gold let's get down here and take a look at it all them little shiny pieces you see that's gold there's probably 50 colors quite a few right there and this pay dirt that I'm working on will all be from Catch Creek and it just won't be going to my Patreon supporters. I'll also have bags posted on my eBay store. I'm getting it all washed down and I'll add the larger pieces that you see right there. So you'll be getting garnets, quartz, iron, gold, probably granite. Lots of granite out here. So be looking out for my DMI gold pay dirt bags from Catch Creek, Colorado. Down to one bucket. And this is a uh, different type of layer. So I got those buckets worked. Let's take a peek at what's showing up. A little bit of gold. It needs to clean out a little bit more. A little bit of black sand. Now I'm going to run this bucket. This is that layer that I hit about 10 feet down. Maybe deeper. Yeah, it's probably about 10 feet. So let's run this. 
and maybe we'll see some more gold show up. All the material has worked. Time to do the clean out. I'm gonna let this run a little bit. Get some black sand out of there. And actually I'm seeing a few more extra pieces out of that layer. I even had a small piece on these really tiny ripples, but it got knocked down the mat. Oh yeah, we got gold. If there's gold here, there's gold here. And hopefully here. And here, and here, and here. All the way down. All right, let's get this mat cleaned out. And I'll get a final cleanup of all the gold I recovered. The sun is starting to set. Once it gets dark, I'm going to take my UV light and walk around these huge cobble piles just like the ones you see behind me and all these rocks on the ground I mean there's just cobble piles everywhere so this will be a lot of fun something tells me we're gonna see some rocks glowing here's an idea of the cobble piles what they can look like these were pushed up by a dozer years ago. Same as probably these over here. But these rocks are humongous. Most of that's granite. I want to be using my UV light over in this area where I've been digging holes and just a lot of rocks to test. Got a couple. I want to test every single rock. Just about dark. Probably can't even see me. But I'm over here at the cobble pile that we were looking at. Got the light. Get the UV light right there. And will any of this fluoresce with my UV light? Oh, that's got some fluorescent minerals right there. Look at that. This, oh. Yep, that is. A huge piece of granite ooh it's got all types of fluorescent minerals in it look at that one that is so cool and that thing really glows here's something over here glowing ooh cool okay so we're seeing the granite Seems to have fluorescent. Ooh, that's cool. This big rock right here has got a big line of fluorescent minerals running through it. Those are leaves. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at this rock. Wow, all of that is fluorescent. Oh my gosh, it's the whole outline of the world fluorescing. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. That is crazy. This is a huge rock. Like, here's my hand. It goes all the way down, all the way. And look at that. That whole section just glows with the UV light. That is crazy. Looks like 
the whole world flat. That kind of looks like a dragon. That is crazy. I almost want to take this one home. Let's flip it over. Oh. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Nothing on the other side. That is crazy. Catch Creek, Colorado. Oh my gosh, look at this. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. All of that is fluorescent. Oh my god, and this thing is humongous. I can't even pick this rock up, it's so big. I mean, it's huge. It goes all the way into the dirt. <sighs> oh, look at this rock. This one I can actually pick up. Oh man, check that one out. I'm gonna give this away. If we can get this video up to 2,000 likes within one week of being uploaded, I will give this away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment. This could even have gold in this. Oh, this is so cool. Check that out. Incredible. I don't see anything else. Oh my gosh. There's even more on the other side of that big rock. This is awesome right here. Ooh, here, here's something. All of this, this whole rock here. It's got some good fluorescent minerals inside it. Look at that. Just look at that. That's a good size rock too. And I'm just shining the light all across these huge cobble piles we were looking at. That's why I wanted to show you what it looked like in the day because you can't see it right now. Uh, more trash. That's a plastic bottle. Here's something. Got a nice little glow to it. Ooh, here's a whole bunch in this pile. Ooh. Here's a whole bunch of fluorescent minerals. Look at that rock. That is crazy. I can even take that one home. I could take this one home. This one up here. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, man. Ooh, back there. That is really cool right there. Look at that orange. That is crazy. That's a pretty good sized rock. Easily take that one. So many. Wow, look at that one. It's got some good orange. Wow, this is just incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that red. Check out that moss. That's moss growing on that rock. That is moss. Insane. That is so cool. But yeah, some of this has moss. And the moss is fluorescent. That's all minerals. That's not moss. That red though. Oh gosh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Check that one out. That is really cool. That's moss. I can scratch it off. So the red is a moss, but that is fluorescent minerals making that glow in that one. And it's not very safe to be on these cobble piles at night. Bad enough in the daytime. Walking down. Going towards my hole. 
And there could be a spot out, out here where more of the rocks are fluorescent. Over here by my hole. And look at that. Is it moss? Oh, it's like some type of piece of wood or something. Yeah, it's like wood. Well, one good thing I discovered dog poop fluorescence. So you can easily spot that when you're out walking around at Catch Creek. Ew. And some other type of poop. my brain really hard to hold this down here and then aim it at those rocks but it's nine feet two more buckets out gosh I've lost count that's at least uh almost 20 buckets maybe when I started working this hole that somebody has started it was just past the root about a foot and a half and then that big rock fell on my ankle I try to pick it up can't even pick it up but now I'm working over here undercutting down that deep hole we are now down inside the hole and I'm working on this gravel layer right here. Some nice quartz have been coming out of here. I'm seeing lots of black. I mean, this stuff is just like really dark. Should see a lot of iron that may lead to gold. Tons of mica. Lots of iron, lots of mica. So we should see some gold come out of this stuff. Yeah, that's what it looks like down here. Bunch of rocks. Back together. This hasn't been dug before, that's for sure. Time for some blue bowl action. Look at all that gold. Working on getting the black sand removed. Oh, I am seeing gold. And that's only one spoon. That's the first spoon. And I am seeing some gold like crazy coming out of that hole. That I finally hit the right gravel layer. That's one spoon. And then a little bit of material to pan out. A little bit of material to go through in my black tub. And a couple bags. Just a few. Wow, check out all the gold. Here's all the larger pieces. Turned out to have quite a bit of gold in the larger material. And over here is all the smaller material and it has quite a bit of gold. There's the heart shaped slash head of a dog piece of gold right there. It was in here with all this other stuff. Cause I used that snuffer bottle that that piece was already in. So there's the gold. Let's now combine the two together into one and get a final weigh-in. The final moment we've been all waiting for for almost one hour. 
the final way in. There it goes. All the gold. Going to my Patreons. Now it's starting to move. All right, we got a half a gram of gold. In about eight to ten buckets. Uh, there we go. And I still have lots of material to go through at home. I should see double that. Because that gravel was getting better and better as I was digging down. All right, time to put this in the pay dirt bags. Yeah, you won't be getting a lot of gold, but you're going to be getting some gold. Here is the gold from my last trip to Catch Creek out of the hole. I got that in just a few buckets. It's unreal how much gold you can get in just a small amount of material. Unfortunately, this will be going to my Patreons. We didn't get the 3,000 likes that I was shooting for. I mean, that video is almost a year old, and it's almost to 3,000 likes, which is amazing. I can't thank you all enough for all the support. Add the gold that I got from this trip to this gold here in the vial, and I'll be adding that to the pay dirt to my Patreons. The little funnel here. Oh, God. The little funnel. All right. Clear. Nice. Now that ought to put that over two grams. Right now I'd like to take the time and give a shout out to all my element and gemstone collectors. We're at a total of 15, which means we met the goal and it's time for another Arkansas Diamond giveaway. One of those 15 element and gemstone collectors will win a beautiful uncut Arkansas Diamond that I found at the Crater of Diamond State Park because without all of my Patreon support, bucket carrier, we got diggers, we got ore washers, element and gemstone collectors, and I just want to thank each and every one of you. Now we're going to do a quick shout out to all the element and gemstone collectors Ronnie Tidham, Juanita Jepson, Don Shook, Ivy Gamble, Michelle McDonald, Barbara Spirit. Mark Fox, Patrick, ooh, this is going to be kind of a hard one for me, Sherfear, <laughs> Alan, and his daughter Luna, and we also have Ashley Benhold, Brian Cunningham, Sherry Frost, Valerie, Marissa S., and, ooh, another tough one, Nahira, Nahira, Monguia, thank you all so much for the support. I can't believe I've come this far in a couple years. I've actually lost track. I guess this August will be, uh, you know, two years. Uh, 2019 I started in August. End of August or something, I don't know. But anyways, thank you all so much. I'm going to get here at Catch Creek. I found some amazing gravel, and I'm going to bag that up. And I'm going to add a little bit of gold, and that's also going to be shipped with the unsearched diamond ore to all my element and gemstone collectors and their monthly packages. There's a few of those that have re-edited their pledge and moved up from a bucket carrier to from an ore washer up to the element and gemstone collector. So you can always move up if you want to. And participate in those amazing giveaways so thank you so much i'll be throwing in aquamarines from the thank you lord claim 
when my 100th bag of DMI gold ore sells on eBay. So be sure to be waiting for that bag. The Buzzy family has an amazing aquamarine claim on Mount Antero, and they offer diggings that you can go on. Call Brian Buzzy today or get a hold of him on his Facebook page.